Today we're going to work on working the shot from left to right and working it from right to left. So if you're a right-handed golfer, if it's going left to right like this, that's a little baby fade. Okay, if it works this way, right to left, that ball fly, that's a little baby draw. And if you're left-handed, it's just opposite of that. Okay, so <clears throat> to hit a little baby fade, let's start with the baby fade first. We have to aim our feet slightly left of the target, right? So that's going to produce an open stance. So say this is square to the target. Just want to draw this back just a little bit. Draw that left foot back just a little bit so everything's a little left of the target. Now what we want to do, that opens up our stance slightly. Now we're going to open that club face a degree, just a little bit. So looking at it from here, it's going to go from here, that's square, to open just a little bit. So we're going to turn the toe just a little bit right, just like that. Now when I'm hitting a little cut shot, after I get my set up, I think about that through swing. So that through swing, we're going to swing a little left of the target with a little bit of an open club face. Okay, so there it goes, a little, a little right to left there. Or excuse me, left to right. Now to do opposite, to do opposite of that, we're going to hit a little baby draw. Alright, so the baby draw, right, here's a fade. Now we're going to aim our stance a little right of the target and just close it down a degree. Close our stance slightly here square. So draw the right foot back just a little bit. Then the toe closes to get that aiming point more at the target. There it goes, a little right to left or draw. Okay, so we're, when we're hitting fades, or little shots left, left to right for a right-handed golfer, I want you to think setup, okay? So the setup is open stance. Draw that left foot back just a little bit. Now that aims everything to the left a little bit. Now just open that club face just a degree and then take your normal swing. Okay, do a little rehearsal swinging left of the target with a slightly open club face. And that ball starts down the left side, little, and then just drops off to the right. Let's do opposite of that. So we're going to hit a little baby draw here. Okay, so there's a square stance. Shut it down so the alignment step, the feet are aligned a little bit right. Just turn that club face just a degree, just like that. Now, now we just take our normal swing. Watch the ball travel right to left. And I'm not losing any distance. I'm hitting them all about the same distance. You know, the old school way of hitting like cuts and draws, it used to be an open stance just like that. And then just swing way out to the right, swing way left. Well, it's hard to control where that ball goes, right? You're just, it's hard to control how far it fades. Or a draw would be super 
shut stance and really swing inside to out and trying to manipulate it with your hands. It's hard to control where that ball goes exactly. So let's hit a little fade. So aim it just a little bit left with your stance, open stance. Rehearse that through swing. So you're going to swing slightly left with an open club. Now just take your normal swing here. Open it up a degree. Watch it turn from left to right. And hit it the exact same distance. Okay, little baby draw. Shut it down a degree. So if we shut it down a degree, we have to make sure that our stance is, up, is shut, just like that. Shut that club face just a degree. Take your normal swing. Same exact distance. Old school way of doing it too, swinging to hit a fade, uh, swinging way out here to the right, swinging across your body like that too much, you lose a lot of distance too. All right, the way that we're doing it here, you're not losing any distance. It's got so much more control. Now I'm going to hit a little baby fade. Stance a little open, which means left of the target. Open it up a degree. Rehearse that through swing. Just like that, swinging left of the target with an open club. Then you just take your normal swing. Little baby fade. Didn't lose a yard in distance. Now hit a draw. Little shut stance. Close it a club, close it a degree. Take your normal swing. There, there could be, <clears throat> there could be situations when you have to use this off the tee as well. Say it's, uh, say the fairway's out there, you're hitting a driver, or you're hitting a three iron, and the fairway kind of falls this way to the right. It's a dog leg to the right. Well, there might be situations where you have to tee it up on the right side of the tee and hit a little bit more of a fade. It gives you more more forgiveness, more room to work with. Vice versa with a, a little draw, right? There might be a little dog leg to the left. You might tee it off more in the center to the left side of the tee box. And that shot might require a little bit of a draw. So it's really good to understand how to hit draws and how to hit fades. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a little baby fade here. Open up the stance. You're going to swing just a little left of the target. And try to feel that club just kind of remain the same. And then take a swing. Normal swing. Okay, I didn't try to manipulate it at all with my hands. I just trusted my technique. So let's hit one more draw. Let's see how well I do here. So a draw, remember, a draw is this way. I draw my right foot back. Swing it. Close the club just a degree. Swing it down the target line, maintaining that club head. Trust it. 
Let it go. That is it. It's a little baby draw. Baby draw. And all these seven arms are drawing about 170 in the air, 172. So that's good. So guys, when you're out there at the range, just test this out. See how you do. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next time. See ya.